Hi, welcome to Solid Edge 2020 video tutorial. I want to do that spiral staircase exercise in Solid Edge. Went pretty well and I've added also some variables which can control that model in a certain way. So let's have fun with Solid Edge. Okay, let's start with a sketch on top plane. I need a circle and some lines. Add an angle. This should be 20 degrees and trim. And let's add a radius and that radius should be 100. Close that sketch and finish and make an extrude with this sketch here and make it 20 millimeters. Finish, cancel this out. Next I need a helix and therefore I want to do a sketch on the front plane because I need some sort of axis here. That would be a line which starts right here and is vertical aligned and the length should be, let's go for 360. Like this and close that sketch. Finish, cancel this out. Now let's switch to surfacing, go for the helical curve. And I want to use that axis here and it depends if you select it up here or down there. So I will go down here and then I could align it with this point here. Sorry, like this. And so I've got the diameter already. The height is defined by that line here and I need one turn, right or left handed, go for length and turn, constant pitch and close. Finish. No cancelling out. Now I want to go for a pattern along a curve. So go for home pattern, go for a long curve, select the feature that would be that stair here. Confirm this. Now select the helix. Confirm that. I want to use this as anchor point. That's OK. Confirm. Go for fill. It's not aligned right now. So you have to go for the next step, which is the alignment step. And I don't want it to follow the curve, but I want it following using a surface and I select this surface here. Confirm and I've got my stairs and they're properly aligned. Preview, finish, no cancelling out. Now let's hide the curve, hide the sketch and go for another sketch on the top plane. I want to have a circle right there and diameter might be 50. Close that sketch, finish, cancel this out, go for an extrude with that sketch and this might be, let's take a look up to this one and that's 360. 
360. And OK, finish, cancel this out. Nice. Next, I want to add some variables. Let's switch to tools, variables. I want to go for at least three. First one, stair or razor. Riser height. And this should be distance, that's okay. And that would be 20 at the moment, millimeter. Then I want to go for an angle, so let's switch to angle. That would be the stair angle. And right now, this would be 20 as well. 20 degrees. And the last one would be a stair counter. And the unit less unit is not here as unit less, but you have to use scalar, scalar, scalar. Don't know how to pronounce it correctly. And this would be 18 right now. Now I can try and do some of those variables directly in the model. And maybe I have to do some formulas here as well. Let's see what we can insert in our model directly. Now I think I made, an, made a mistake with the pattern. Let's check it. Let's go for the pattern and go to the definition and yeah i don't want it to be filled i need a fit because i want to fit 18 elements along that curve that's more like it finish and okay now let's go to the variables and the sketch has to be edited and that angle should be replaced with that stair angle. So go for stair angle. Model should not change. Finish. Next would be that protrusion. And I can't insert that variable here in the, in the protrusion. I don't know why it doesn't work. So we'll go for the list. That would be the first extruded protrusion. So let's go here for formula. And this would be the stair height. Like this. And again, the model should not change. But now I notice this one is too short. I will compensate it here with the variable. Next would be sketch four, which is that length here. So edit this one and that length should be the stair counter multiplied with the stair height. And again, the model should not have changed. Finish. That's okay. And the helical curve will be not influenced by this, but that pattern. Again, I go for the variables list. That is the count of that pattern. And this should be the stair counter. Okay. Then we've got this sketch here, that's okay, but that protrusion should be changed. So go again for the variables list, and that would be, where is it, the second protrusion, pattern, pattern, that's the second protrusion here, this one. And this should be the stair counter plus one in this case. 
plus one multiplied with the stair height that should do the trick confirm yes and now i can control at least in to certain degrees that staircase with those variables here so hope it was helpful hope you enjoyed it if you did like it please give it a like or leave a comment if you want to see more please give it a like or leave a comment please subscribe to my youtube channel please subscribe to my facebook camp fan page it would be very nice of you i want to get more likes and subscriptions over there as well thanks for watching see you to the next one bye bye